VegFest is a celebration of all things vegan and it was embraced by more than 10,000 people who packed into Brighton Centre over the last weekend in February. The two-day event was hosted by more than 200 different stallholders who all had a connection to animal welfare or plant-based benefits. From vegan jewellery to Greenpeace and vegan runners to veggie magazines, there really was something for everyone in this festival which promotes a plant-based lifestyle. So I am part of the United Patients Alliance and we're campaigning for legal access to medical cannabis in the UK. Uh, we've come to VegFest to do some outreach and to speak to people about how cannabis helps us and why, to, to, to explain why we want it as a medicine and why we want it to be legalised. So we're the Vervet Monkey Foundation. We're a sanctuary in South Africa for injured, orphaned or abused vervet monkeys. In South Africa at the moment there's uh, quite a lot of uh, conflict between humans and animals and monkeys are getting shot, they're being run over and in some of the undeveloped cultures there's still a lot of stigma around monkeys. They believe that they could be associated with witchcraft or if they're to do with their local medicine where they use monkey hands. So uh, in part we run an education programme to try and get the number of wild uh, monkeys to like grow and not be uh, persecuted as much. And we also have a sanctuary for 600 vervet monkeys that uh, live in semi-wild enclosures with their own kind. When I was living in Paris around 1992, I made a little vegan guidebook for Paris because it was so hard to be vegan there. And when I met some French vegans, we actually found there's quite a lot, but it's very difficult to find because it's in side streets. There were 20 veggie restaurants at the time. And that led to a whole series of guides. We've done seven editions of our London book. We've done guides for Britain, Scotland, and regions of the UK, a guide for Europe. And we work with people in other countries who want to do guides and coach them on how to do it. So we've now just published a, a vegan guidebook for Paris. And unlike my first guide that was 32 pages, this new one, 20 years later, is 200 pages. So even in Paris, it's great for vegans if you know where to look. VegFest started back in 2003 with the first festival of its kind in Bristol. As veganism has become more mainstream in the years since, and now with around half a million vegans in the UK, VegFest has too expanded to having six annual festivals around Great Britain. It really is amazing to see loads of teenagers and people in their 20s and 30s just embracing this as a, as a sort of social norm. You know, we all want it and we're getting it. It's amazing. This event isn't just for established vegans though. VegFest encourages meat eaters and vegetarians to come along and see for themselves what it might be like to make the change from those who are passionate about veganism themselves. A lot of people like they worry that going vegan they're going to have to stop eating the things that they love, but they're not going to have to. Everything that you love, there is a vegan option, there is a vegan version, so it just takes a bit more effort to, to look into it, to research it. But it's really, really worthwhile. I definitely, I definitely recommend it. I just say to anyone that's thinking about becoming a vegan that's a vegetarian, think about the reasons why you're vegetarian. They all apply to vegan as well. If you don't, if you don't like cows being killed, then cows were killed for milk. If you don't like pigs, uh, if you don't like chickens being killed for meat, then baby male chicks are killed every day for eggs. If you don't like the, the way they're kept, then it's ten times worse for like the cows that are for veal, which is the same thing as which is like associated with the milk industry and stuff. So, if you, if those are the reasons why you're vegetarian. If, then you, that's the same reason why you should be vegan. I've been vegetarian for a few years and I thought that vegetarians eating cheese and eggs were cruelty free because nothing died. But of course the reality is that all dairy animals and all egg laying hens go for meat in the end. And there are no males on the farm, they're all killed at, right at the start. And I don't want to support that. Now, sometimes it helps to put others first, not just yourself. So it's not just about your journey, it's also about somebody else's. And if that somebody else is victimized by your lifestyle choice, then you have to think, well, you know what? There's no need for that. So that's the process.